In this presentation, we want to provide you with important information to make the best use of your PPE and help keep you safe while caring for patients during the COVID-19 pandemic. This video is directed to all healthcare workers caring for patients during the COVID-19 pandemic. The objectives of this video are to highlight important concepts regarding donning and doffing, specifically the importance of following a visual aid and how to use a buddy system to keep yourself and others safe, to promote a culture of safety, to provide PPE hints and tips for safety, tips on how to optimize your donning and doffing process. There are multiple reasons why it is important to follow a visual aid for your donning and doffing process. Protocols vary from site to site. PPE protocols change frequently according to available PPE or PPE shortages. It is difficult to remember steps by memory, particularly when you are stressed or fatigued. With COVID-19, both stress and fatigue are human factors that all of us need to take into account. PPE for COVID-19 infections are known to be a high-stakes process. We want you to be safe and prevent self-contamination. Let's talk about how to use the buddy system to keep yourself and others safe. Having a buddy and making the best use of this system significantly reduces the risk of self-contamination, particularly during doffing. Early research findings show a potential threefold decrease in self-contamination with proper use of the buddy system. Whether it is formally organized at your current site, identify someone to be your buddy, particularly for doffing. Many health facilities have structurally organized a buddy system. It might be called a safety officer or other names. Both of you, you and your buddy, are equally responsible for ensuring the buddy system is used correctly. If at any point, either of you notes an error in the donning or doffing process, stop, redirect, and restart if needed. Remember, your safety and that of your buddy partner is at stake. The mechanics of the buddy system are that only the buddy reads the instructions. The buddy calls the step number first, then reads step instructions. The healthcare worker only focuses on the buddy's instructions and procedural skills of donning or doffing. The buddy only proceeds to reading out the next step after completing the current step correctly. The healthcare worker completes the process before changing rules with the buddy. Promote a culture of safety. We're learning that PPE for COVID-19 includes both what equipment you have and the safe use of PPE. Don't underestimate the complexity of safe PPE use during COVID-19. Mistakes are common, especially when the healthcare worker is inexperienced, fatigued, overconfident, or distracted. Be prepared to speak up and correct something that didn't go well. It's not about shame or blame, it's about safety. If a mistake is identified by the healthcare worker or buddy, remember to pause, perform hand hygiene, and refer to the visual aid before proceeding. PPE hints and tips for safety. More frequent hand hygiene is better than less frequent hand hygiene. Don't skip a step. Don't interrupt anybody or allow any interruptions during a donning or doffing process. Concentration matters. Take your time. Go slow. Don't remove PPE quickly. Careful when reaching for neckties or Velcro while doffing. Keep your chin up to avoid contact of your visor, your scrubs, or gown. Be careful so that your contaminated gown does not touch your face. Keep your arm and forearm away from your face. This may seem awkward while you are performing, but is the right thing to do. When removing face shields or goggles, only touch straps. Never touch the front or where the strap meets the shield or goggle. When removing your mask or N95 respirator, only touch the straps. Be very careful not to touch the front of the mask or N95 respirator. Another safety tip is garbage bin etiquette. Don't crowd around the disposal bins, only two people at a time, to avoid contaminating each other. Physical distancing is important around garbage bins. Also. Remember that when disposing of your gown, make sure that all of the gown is completely inside the disposal bin to protect others around you, including all healthcare workers, cleaners, porters, and others. In summary, to keep yourself safe during the COVID-19 pandemic, 
Remember these five key points. 1. Using a visual aid is very important. 2. Having a PPE buddy is a personal safety priority. 3. Doffing is a critical step and the moment of highest risk for self-contamination. 4. Speak up for safety. And 5. Go slow to keep safe.